Hey guys, I'm sure you all know that Android 4.4.3 dropped yesterday or today depending on where you live and I wanted to make a tutorial from going from a custom ROM to stock 4.4.3. I like to do this now and then just to get a fresh start, make sure the bootloader and radio up to date and just generally for a change of pace. Now I'll be using the factory images so you will lose all the data on your device including pictures and files so make sure you back them up to a separate computer if you wish to keep them. So yeah, let's do it. So firstly, we actually need to download the factory image. Head over to your browser, type factory images in Google and it should show up near the very top of the list. There it is, factory images for Nexus devices. Click that, go ahead and find your device. I believe the Nexus 5, 7 and 10 currently have a 4.4.3 build. I'm using the Nexus 5, so that's the one I'll click. Now it puts it right at the top of the list, which always makes me second guess myself. So let's just check this to be sure. And yep, there it is. Click where it says link and it should automatically start downloading. I've already actually got this downloaded, so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this for now. Okay, feel free to pause the video here if you're waiting for it to download. Otherwise, head over to where you downloaded the file. This is a RAR file, so it will need to be extracted. If you don't have WinRAR, a free version is available on Google. Simply hit Extract to and select the location where you want it to go. I'll leave mine on the desktop, it shouldn't take too long. So once that's extracted, you'll have a folder with all the parts of the factory image inside. If we just double click into that folder, you can see the new bootloader, the new radio. Another RAR file, but you don't need to touch that. That contains the different partitions, unless of course you want to flash them separately. Okay, so you need to head over to your device and boot into the bootloader mode. If the ROM allows it, you can do that through the power menu. If not, turn off the device, then press and hold the volume down and power button together for around five seconds. That should put you into the bootloader mode. So this next part requires specific drivers of which I already have installed. If you don't, check out the video description below. There's a simple guide to get those drivers installed correctly. Now you want to hold down shift on your keyboard and right click the folder. Then click open command window here. Now firstly, go ahead and type fastboot devices. If the drivers are installed correctly, you should see the device listed like mine is. If it's blank, the device isn't recognized and the drivers are not installed. So go ahead and follow that guide in the description. Now go ahead and open up the folder. You should see the flashall.bat file. If if your computer isn't showing extensions it won't display the dot bat part which doesn't matter but you still need to actually write dot bat in the command prompt so make sure you do that and of course make sure you spell everything correctly or it just won't work so just hit enter and that's it i should mention you do need an unlocked bootloader for this to work if you do have a locked bootloader just go ahead and type fast boot oem unlock in the command prompt and it should do that all for you you can see mine is writing the bootloader writing the radio don't worry about the dot sig files that it can't find that always seems to be the case and i never seem to have any problems I think they're just signature files, I don't think they matter too much. But uh, yeah, I think it's gonna take around three to four minutes, so just sit back and relax and I'll skip to when it's done. And it's finished up, it was actually quicker than I thought, you can see it only took around 118 seconds. You can see my Nexus 5 is still booting up, so we'll just go ahead and wait for that, it shouldn't be much longer. Although saying that the initial boot does take longer than a standard boot, it can take anywhere between two to four minutes, so don't declare it a boot loop and panic straight away, just give it a chance and it should boot up. Okay, so it should boot up any second now, and there we are. Now you have the normal setup process for your Google Apps and all that. I'm just going to go ahead and skip through this because no one really wants to see all that and no one's really interested. And if we dive into the About phone and go to Android version, you can see it is the latest 4.4.3. So we're up to date. We've got the newest bootloader, the newest radio. You are up to date, and yeah, it's pretty quick to do. So let me know what you guys think. Peace out.